Time to play with some clay. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is get the head measurement, which I've already measured out with my caliper, and that's two and a half inches. So that's what I'm going to scale my feathers for, is two and a half inches. All right, I've, I've uh, worked out the head measurement and uh, the scale on my uh, print program to measure, or to bring the uh, feathers down to scale. This is a head measurement right here. That's when I scale that down to the correct head measurement, that automatically scales these feathers. The same thing with the uh, ermine down here in the bottom corner here. I even scale those out to 15 inches in length. Alright, uh, they're going to be all the straight feathers, so that's the one I'm going to cut out. It's against the law to own eagle feathers. And so what I did was I contacted a, a Native American friend of mine who had access to eagle feathers because they can legally own them. They can't lend them or sell them. They can own them because the eagle is a protected uh, species. So I uh, drew an outline around the uh, feathers and then I scanned it into a computer and uh, came up with uh, this uh, length and this also this drawing to scale. Alright, now I'm going to uh, use this. I'm going to use this feather here to scale my uh, feathers out on in clay. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make a uh, I'm going to cut 32 inches, 32 pieces of wire that will be scaled to the length of the uh, feather that I need and I'm going to add just a little bit at the end for the amount of wire to go into the clay to support so it'll stay on the piece. I got baling wire here and uh, I'm going to start uh, rolling out some of it to make these uh, armatures. I'm going to do one or two and then I'm, I'll come back. Because i got to straighten out the wire on each one. Alright, now i got to do 32 of them, so I'll come back when I get uh, that number finished. Well, I've got the uh, 32, actually 33 uh, pieces of uh, armature wire for my feathers. Now the next thing to do is to uh, create the clay blanks 
that will be the feathers and I'm gonna go get the clay right now and do that next <coughs> okay got my clay I'm gonna mark on this how long to make the clay blank okay first thing I have to do is I have to roll out the clay I'm going to get it to a thickness that I feel will be a good thickness that when I flatten it out will make a nice the perfect thickness uh, for the uh, feather to work all right I'm using a uh, an ink roller you can get it at a uh, I guess a uh, stationary office supply place that's where I got mine I got it God, probably 30 years ago 40 years ago anyway so I'm gonna just start cutting blanks Now I'm just going to go ahead and start doing this, but I'm just going to show you the first couple. I'm going to do 32 of them, or three. What I did is I, I got a, a paper plate that I'm going to be placing uh, these uh, wires in and my clay in to keep it uh, separate and I can, you know, keep it away keep it uh, in one place so I, what I do is I do five at a time I got two I do three more and then I'll shut the camera off and continue doing this until I get 33 There's an art to uh, rolling clay by your hand. You'll, as time goes by, <coughs> you'll learn how to do it. It just takes a little skill. Not a lot, but you don't want the clay flopping around while you're rolling it, so it takes, like I said, a little time. Okay. Just a little bit more on that end. Okay. That's the first five of 33. And we'll gather those up. And put it on my plate. My bachelor wear. Alright, I got 33 clay blanks made. Now, I'm going to try to figure out what to do next. I've done this thousands of times, but each time is a little different. Oh, I'm going to clean off this cutting board. This is a... Uh, by the way, if you're wondering, this is a bamboo cutting board. You can get them at Walmart, Kmart. I got this, uh, I think, at Walmart in Bozeman, Montana. And if you use lighter fluid to clean your board, it makes it a little slicker, and it takes off the stickiness. 
but you know I rolled out all 33 feathers and I didn't have but one or two actually stick to the board that's the beauty of bamboo is the fact that nothing really sticks to it and uh, using Ronsonol really helps <laughs> And while I've been doing this, I've been catching up on YouTube videos that I haven't been able to watch. And uh, I there's some people I follow. And Okay. Now I'm going to move my light a little closer and uh, get my exacto knife. I'm also going to I keep bumping my camera here. I'm going to uh, light my candle if I can find the lighter. Oh here it is. I don't like burning myself, so my pliers. First things first, I'm going to trim clay away. Let me tell you, this took a lot of clay to make these feathers. And you got to make the feathers big enough, or thick enough, that they can cast them. If you make them too thin, you're going to get miscastings. Okay. And I get a wire. do is I heat up the wire in the flame and I'm going to do this for every feather and it's, this takes time and then I put it down on the feather and push it into the clay that cool and that creates an armature for my clay I gotta clean off this knife Get a little clay build up on it. And I'm going to slip this underneath the clay and lift it off the board. Okay, I'm going to do that uh, 32 times and then I'll come back and put detail into the feathers. I got to get another dish. <laughs> Alright, that's going to be it for today. That's all I'm going to be doing today. The rest of the day is making feather blanks and using the clay that I've pressed out one at a time. This is where sculpting gets tedious. But if you know that the end result is going to be worthwhile, you don't really mind. Give me a thumbs up and share my video. And then check out my 
instructional DVDs, uh, the link down below this video. All right. See you next time.